An enormous eruption on Java Volcanic Island. Volcanic eruption. Massive eruption in Hawaii. Hawaii. Eruption in Iceland. Indonesia. Something terrifying is happening. And it's bigger than you think. Much bigger. Volcanoes keep on making the headlines and it almost feels like the planet is waking up. But are eruptions actually becoming more frequent or is something else at play? Because right now there's one volcano that could erupt in our lifetime in an explosion so powerful it would reshape the world as we know it. And yet barely anyone is talking about it. Before we uncover what's really happening, what it means for us and the hidden danger no one sees coming, let's start with the basics. Deep beneath the Earth's surface, about 1,800 miles underneath our feet, lies the core of the planet. It is believed to be nearly as hot as the surface of the Sun, reaching temperatures around 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This intense heat melts rock into magma, liquid fire trapped beneath the surface. But it doesn't sit still. As pressure builds, magma intrusion begins forcing molten rocks to move upwards, searching for a way out. When the pressure becomes too high, it breaks through the surface and erupts with unstoppable force. And this is how volcanoes are born. But not all of them look the same. Their shapes, sizes and eruptions are drastically different. Some of them sit still for ages, then explode without warning while others erupt continuously for months or even years. Certain types unleash pyroclastic flows, deadly clouds of gas and ash. Others spill rivers of lava, carving new landscapes as they burn through everything in their path. Some say it is the Earth's way of recycling itself, a process that has built the world as we know it. Yet, despite all of the modern research, scientists still struggle with one simple question. How do we predict when a volcano will erupt? What we do know, however, is where they are most likely to strike. Volcanoes aren't scattered randomly. They cluster in specific areas across the globe. The Pacific Ring of Fire is the most notorious of these regions. It holds nearly 75% of the world's active volcanoes. The zone stretches across vast parts of the Pacific from the Americas to Southeast Asia. And here comes a fact that might surprise you. One of the most volcanically active places on Earth is in Indonesia. Millions of tourists visit each year, but very few realize the true nature of the country. Towering peaks rise above dense forests, their slopes covered in thick vegetation. The soil is rich, packed with minerals left behind by ancient eruptions. Along the coast, black volcanic sand stretches for miles, a sharp contrast to the deep blue ocean. In some areas, past eruptions have stained the ground with minerals and volcanic rock, creating striking patterns across the landscape. And only weeks ago, several Indonesian volcanoes made the headlines. This was an enormous eruption on Java Island. Mount Sumeru sent hot ash and smoke thousands of feet up into the air. Volcano, which is located on Flores Island. This is the second major volcanic eruption in two weeks now. Further east, yet another eruption followed, capturing insane footage of an event few have ever witnessed. <laughs> That is just insane, and all of these eruptions happened within only a few months. And it is not just the Pacific. Let's take a look at a few more volcanic areas that you should absolutely know about. The Central American Volcanic Arc is another hotspot where volcanic peaks rise above the dense rainforests and ancient landscapes. In Guatemala, you find entire towns located within a few miles of these active giants. Volcanic tourism attracts thousands of visitors each year, offering a rare chance to witness the raw power of a volcano up close. Hikers climb for hours to get a clear view of Volcán de Fuego, the volcano of fire, one of the most active in the region. It sends plume of smoke into the sky almost daily. At night, 
The sky here is unbelievably clear. Far from city lights, the Milky Way stretches across the horizon and you can witness the eruptions from a relatively safe distance. The power of these mountains is unpredictable. In 2018, Fuego's eruption was so strong it was devastating for nearby villages and became one of the worst disasters in Guatemala's history. A policeman recorded this dramatic video as his car was engulfed. Cameras capturing the eruption around noon Sunday, so powerful it was visible from space. Europe isn't spared either. The old continent is home to 82 volcanoes, with nearly half of them clustered in Iceland, a country shaped by relentless geological forces. Iceland sits on a mid-Atlantic ridge, where shifting tectonic plates fuel constant volcanic activity. The land here is raw and unforgiving. Black volcanic plains stretch for miles, broken up by jagged cliffs and deep valleys. The landscape is unlike anywhere else on Earth, creating a contrast that almost feels like otherworldly. At any given moment, over 1,500 volcanoes are considered active and every year 50 to 70 eruptions take place. Some are minor, barely make the news, others are catastrophic. As cities expand into volcanic zones, more and more people are affected by these high-risk areas. With each passing year, the stakes only get higher. But the real danger is how unpredictable it can be. I've been editing this one for a couple of weeks now and making videos like this takes a lot of time, research and quite a bit of effort. And independent creators like me rely on support. Whether it's from you watching this stuff or from amazing companies like Motion Array who not only sponsored this one but also provided a ton of assets to help bring this story to life. If you haven't heard of them, Motion Array is a really cool licensing platform that gives filmmakers access to high quality stock footage, templates and assets. And here's why that matters. You see, in filmmaking, timing is everything and some events only happen like once in a lifetime. Take something like the Iceland volcano eruption in 2021. This was without a doubt one of the most spectacular natural events on the planet and everyone wanted to capture it. But unless you work for National Geographic, getting these shots was a logistical nightmare. It would cost thousands of dollars in flights and travel and that doesn't even take into account the cost for camera gear as the heat could potentially like melt your drone mid-flight. Even if all the stars aligned, you were still racing against time as flights got cancelled and the eruption could stop at any moment basically. That's why I love Motion Array because they provide the exact same quality footage for the same cost of eating lunch with a friend. Their plans start at $15 per month if you want video templates only, but if you're serious about filmmaking, you can upgrade for just 10 bucks to add an AI voiceover feature and if you want full access, including music, sound effects, stock footage, plugins, LUTs and more, it's less than $25, but it gets even better the link in the description gives you $50 off when you sign up for an annual plan and that is a crazy good deal so make sure to check it out. Now let's talk about some of the paradoxes that most people don't realize about volcanoes. You see the human population is rising dramatically. We are expanding basically everywhere. That is why as of right now 800 million people live within 60 miles of an active volcano. And that is about 10% of the world's population. Here in Washington, we have our own volcano threat in the Cascade Mountains, which on average erupts once or twice every century. The threat includes Mount Rainier, which scientists continually monitor for activity. Now take a look at the most defining landmark of the U.S. Pacific Northwest. To most people, Mount Rainier is a beautiful hiking destination, which is surrounded by lakes and forests but underneath the snow lies an active volcano. It last erupted in the 19th century and experts rank it among the most dangerous in North America. Just south of Rainier stands another volcano. In 1980, Mount St. Helens erupted with a force no one could have anticipated. The blast obliterated the mountain's peak, sending a cloud of ash so high it darkened the sky as far as Texas. But that was just a warning. 
other volcanoes are even bigger and deadlier. And when they go off, the consequences won't just be local. They would have the power to affect the entire continent. Volcanoes are hundreds of thousands of years of activity. And they go on these long cycles, some of them, these super volcanoes. And yes. Yellowstone's going to blow when you never know when it's going to happen. Yellowstone National Park is famous for its geysers and hot springs. Millions of tourists visit each year, watching steam rise from the ground, unaware of what lies beneath. One of the largest supervolcanoes on Earth. Scientists monitor it constantly, because if it erupts again, it wouldn't just be a disaster for the US, it would effectively change the entire planet. A massive eruption would send billions of tons of ash into the atmosphere, blocking sunlight and disrupting global temperatures for years. Scientists call this a volcanic winter, but Yellowstone isn't alone. Supervolcanoes exist in different corners of the world, and if one of them erupts, it would be an event that rewrites history. Volcanoes are the most destructive forces on Earth. Kamchatka is a remote volcanic region which is located in Russia's far east. More than 300 volcanoes rise from this isolated landscape and very few people live here and the terrain is untouched and feels surreal. But here is the paradox. Volcanoes create the most fertile land on the planet. You see, volcanic soil is so rich in minerals that life returns faster as you would expect. In 1883, a volcano called Krakatoa erupted with so much force that the explosion was heard over 3,000 miles away. That's like 10% of the Earth's surface. The eruption triggered tsunamis as high as like 40 meters. And by the time it was over, people considered it the loudest sound that was ever heard. Decades later, an entire island rose from the sea, proving that even after total destruction, volcanoes keep on reshaping the world. And it's still happening today. A monstrous eruption which has left its mark on our planet. In 2022, an underwater volcano located in the Pacific nation of Tonga erupted with a force more powerful than an atomic bomb. It created a massive tsunami, shot water 20 kilometers into the stratosphere. This volcano even exceeded our maximum expectations about how far the effects of this eruption was. It is fascinating because scientists were able to monitor the eruption with satellites and modern technology. The volcano is expected to change the climate in the region for a decade. But it also created a new piece of land that had never existed before. And that got me thinking. With eruptions making headlines way more often, it is fueling the idea that volcanic activity is on the rise. But the data tells a very different story. The studies I found all suggest that the number of active volcanoes and eruptions per year has remained relatively stable. What has changed, however, is how we see them. In the past, eruptions could go completely unnoticed. Now satellites track them in real time, social media footage spreads instantly, and news coverage makes every story feel like part of a bigger trend. But the real danger isn't more frequent eruptions, it's actually more people who live in high-risk zones than ever before. Cities are expanding into volcanic areas and the stakes only keep on rising. And despite advancements in monitoring, many eruptions still go undetected. You see, even with newer technology, volcanoes simply remain pretty unpredictable. I find this topic extremely fascinating, so I put, if you like this video, you should consider subscribing to the channel and also check out that one right here. With that said, I hope you have a good day and I will see you in the next one.